to now to our interview with Leonardo DiCaprio. His performance in The Revenant landed him a Golden Globe nomination. Some say it could land him that elusive Oscar. We sat down yesterday to talk about the movie that he calls the most challenging of his career. The structure of the movie was very much set up like live theater. We had to rehearse all day these very meticulous, complex shots. It's like a live production. Yeah, it was like live television. It was like doing Saturday Night Live every day, except a lot of what we were doing wasn't that funny. <laughs> or fun. <laughs> right. In his new film, The Revenant, Leonardo DiCaprio plays Hugh Glass, an explorer in the 1800s. In his journey across the western wilderness and in his quest for revenge against a fellow explorer, Glass endures sub-zero temperatures, unforgiving elements, and in one of the film's most talked about scenes, a vicious bear attack. The film was shot on location far from the comforts of a Hollywood studio. What you see on screen is raw and oftentimes real. Was there ever a moment when you thought, why did I do this? <laughs> why did I sign up for I this? Literally everyone felt that a few times a week. Yes. I'm not going to lie. It was one of the, it was probably, it was the hardest, you know, film, professional thing that I've ever done, for sure. One of the things you do in the film is actually eat a real bison liver. Mm -hmm. I wanted to believe that that was a prop. But it was real. Mm -hmm. Why did you push yourself to do that? It's not like anybody would think, boy, what a lazy performance. You take that extra step. Why? The Native American actor that I was working with, his name is Arthur, and he was eating raw bison flesh the entire day during rehearsal. <laughs> and they gave me this gelatinous sort of red pancake to eat, and it just didn't look real. It didn't look authentic to me. I wanted to get the real thing, and it was this giant liver that was incredibly disgusting. My reaction is very much up on screen, which is a nauseating one. Fair to say you've had your last bison liver? Oh, oh I'll never do that again. <laughs> I'll never do that again. There's another scene where you crawl inside the carcass of a horse. And I just kept thinking about the theme of will to live. Watching this film, there are 10 times I would have just said, oh, forget it, I'll just lay down and just give up. How did you tap into that in your character, that absolute relentless will to live? When I watched this movie for the first time, I said, my God, the perseverance of, of the human species, our adaptability, the ability of life to keep pushing forward against all adversity is amazing, and it's kind of, displayed up on this, in this movie in a way that I haven't seen in a while because we were trying our closest to emulate these people's journeys. But did you actually crawl inside the horse carcass or was, please tell me there was some kind of set piece? <laughs> yeah, there was a set piece. Oh, thank you, because I don't think I could take it. <laughs> <laughs> Something that wasn't a set piece, DiCaprio's beard. How long did it take to grow? I have so many questions. I think the beard took four months or five months, but then I kept it for like a year and a half. I lived with that thing for a long time. <laughs> it seems to take on a life of its own. It sure, it sure, it became like a partner, like a life partner. <laughs> Now all eyes are on DiCaprio's chances during this year's awards season. We gotta get off this boat. At this weekend's Golden Globes, he's nominated for Best Performance by an Actor in a Motion Picture Drama, a category he won in 2005 for The Aviator. As for that elusive Oscar statue, this year he's considered a frontrunner. I'm very proud that a movie like this got made. It's very, very, very rare to see films that are this ambitious coming out of the Hollywood studio system. So I'm sort of on a tirade trying to promote this film because I just want to see more films like this out there as a fan of movies. But as far as awards are concerned, you know, the truth is there's a lot of peace of mind in it because you really realize that you ultimately have no control of these things. Is it something you hope for or set off to the side. Like I said, uh, I, you know, honestly, I, I do these movies because I really love, love movies and I want to make great movies. All that stuff is totally, totally beyond your control. It really is. I'll see you at the Golden Globes. Have you picked your outfit? <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea what I'm wearing. It's probably the same boring black suit, as always. <laughs> Me too, boring black dress. See you there. All right.
We did this big whole uh, deep conversation, yeah. and I'm like, what are you wearing? Cool. <laughs> so yeah. He's like, who is this kook? Safe to say they <laughs> did the bison liver eating scene just once. Oh, I thought it was a one taker. One yes. take. It's incredible. It's Don't you agree? It's riveting watching and to know that he throws himself 110% into that role. All of them did. You know, it is gory, and so I yes. think a lot of, particularly women, we've been. I was not looking forward to watching it, but I'm glad I did. A lot of guys, too, by the way. Yeah, and I, it was incredible. And but it even was more it. impressive is yet another other film from Leonardo where he is yes. absolutely incredible. Like you said, going back to what's Ever eating, since Gilbert he was eating Gilbert Grape. He just does incredible movies fan. and he's just long overdue. Yeah, yeah. and he pours himself into the part. By the way, The Revenant opens wide in theaters nationwide tomorrow. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.